Okay, I am going to do a realistic muzzle flash tutorial in After Effects using Video Copilot's Action Essentials movie pack. Alright, so you got your video up. Right now I'm doing a POV or it could be an over the shoulder, just something where the front of the gun is facing away from the camera. And it's all the same general stuff. So I've got a muzzle flash here and I just use straight six from the co-pilot one and uh, I'll set this up like how I had it originally. You just drag it down. I've got it just here. Uh, come on. I've got it right here. So it just shows up right there. So right there is where it goes off. I'm going to place it over here. I'm going to make it bigger, hold shift and make it bigger so that way it stays the uh, same aspect ratio. I'm going to put it on top. T for the opacity, change it down to like 50. Make sure it's lined up where you want it to be lined up. Let's go back. Uh, actually, no. Let's, let's leave that at 50. All right. So now we're going to go in and I'm going to take the pen tool right here. And I'm going to start making a mask around the gun parts that it shouldn't be going around. So that way it doesn't look like it's you know right on top and everything. You want this to be just at the front of the gun. So I'm going to make an outline around the gun. That looks good. Hit H for the hand. Hit G to go back to the pen. Alright, so there's the mask. And I'm going to change the mask. Hit M on the layer to bring up the mask. Make it subtract. T to go back to opacity. Let's make it back to 100. And M again. And hit mask and then hit F for feather. And let's just feather this out a little bit. Okay. So there's the one flash. Just bam, just like that. And it happens so quick you don't have to sit there and go frame by frame to make it add up. It should work just fine like that. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a glow to it. Uh, stylize, glow. It's way too much of a glow. So let's drag up the radius a little bit. And a little bit on the intensity. And a little bit down on the threshold. Play it through. Kapow, kapow. Alright, and let's add a little bit of a blur. Gaussian blur, Robert's pronounced. Just put it on like three. Okay. Now, if you hit the layer, toggle switches, let's do. Ah, oh, that's a good one. I don't think any of these work actually. Oh, there we go. Screen, lighten, add, adds too bright. Let's go with lighten. Okay. So you have got the flash going, it looks pretty bright. Uh, the brightness is all up to your choosing depending on the piece. This is a daytime thing. If it's night, you can make it brighter. If it just suits your piece better, you can make it darker or whatnot. And then let's go to new solid. Make that kind of a yellowish white. Hit OK. Hit page up to go up one frame and hit the beginning bracket. Hit page down twice and hold ALT and hit the ending bracket. And hit T on that layer and change the opacity to 30. And now there's a flash that goes off with it. But it seems a little bit too bright. So let's go down to 10. Okay. Do a pre-gram render. Actually, let's not do that. Do a little render, see how it turns out in a bigger space. Okay. It looks pretty good. Let's take that muzzle flash, hold control, hit D, hit page down a few times to go to a new frame. Drag it back just a little bit until it matches up and then line that back up with the gun.
Go to that one, hit hold control, hit D again, page down a few times, drag it back, line it up one more time, and then same with this yellow. It's solid layer up here. Drag that around so that it fits up with these other ones. And then let's go ahead and watch it. Let's click off. Go ahead and watch it. Okay. Looks good. And if that solid layer is just too distract, just a little too distracting, go ahead and just do this. Put a mask on there over top of it, drag it out so it's just right here. Uh, go to hit mask, hit F, feather it, do, do a decent sized feather on it. Control, go over to these ones, paste, paste, all right. That's a little bit too distracting, though. Make the feather about 500 instead. Okay. That looks better. Trying to get off that mask. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Okay. All right. So now, say that your foreground is actually uh, blurred out as opposed to the whole thing being in one piece. So, foreground is blurred, and the target is actually what's in frame. So this would be like an over-the-shoulder shot, and uh, you want to focus on the guy who's getting shot as opposed to the gun shooting. Your muzzle flare... Your muzzle flash is going to look a bit off, so you just blur it to match up with it. Do that with what I have that on. Do that with all these. And this is going to be uh, not for a POV thing like this, uh, but if you're doing an over-the-shoulder shot where the guy you're over the shoulder of is shooting at someone and you're focusing on the target, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to do that. Uh, so you're blurred out to make it match up with it. So that's how you make a realistic gunshot uh, from a POV standpoint. If you're doing the same thing, but you're looking at the gun, it's the same exact thing. You're just not going to mask it out. And if it's a side shot, same thing. You're just not going to mask it out. And you're going to choose the appropriate muzzle flash to go along with it. And you're still going to do the same thing uh, you did on this. You're going to put a glow on it. Uh, the settings best to what you want it to be. You're going to put a slight blur on it. And you're going to do a uh, lighten or screen filter uh, add kind of works. If I can get it on there. Add kind of works, but I mean, for the most part, lighten seems to work the best. It keeps a little bit of the color in there. Uh, that's all I can recommend for this. Go out and shoot some people.